Okay, balik po tayo. Yung ating pinag-uusapan kasi, medyo talagang, kung tutuusin natin, the issues are so basic eh. Pag wala tayong matinong halalan at nakakaboto ang tao ng malaya na walang pumipilit sa kanila na pumunta dito o pumunta ron, at pakatapos ang bilangan ay matino, I don't care if they use manual or electronic, but it has to be accurate, has to be uh, accountability, can be established, it can be authenticated. That is what all uh, public officials who have been elected by the people, that's their primary obligation to the people, to ensure good, free, honest elections. Because beyond that, you do not have a democracy. You have a sham. Di ba? Right, right. So, dito natin tinitingnan itong mga bagay na ito. Like for example, the taken out by specific direction of the COMELEC. Yung digital signature at pinabayaan nilang sumagot yung presidente na Smartmatic. Hindi, meron naman digital signature. The machine itself has. But, the digital signature of the COMELEC official, the election register official, If that were put in there, then talagang traceable na traceable ang transmission. Yes. Without it, hindi matrace kung saan ang galing. That's what we believe, Ray, with respect to yung pitong presinto ko that were uh -huh. uh, uh, dalawang, uh, pitong presinto na dalawang beses nag-transmit. Pero iba-iba yung number uh -huh. galing kung galing saan. Now, we cannot trace it anymore. Hindi natin matitrace because walang digital signature. If there had been a digital signature, mati trace mo yun. Kaya that's why I was thinking na baka this was really prime. Oy, obvious ba? Specific instruction to the election register. When the machine asks you if you want to put a digital signature, press the no button. And it will ask, are you sure? Press the yes. Press the yes button. Specific instructions violating of the law. In fact, those are both impeachable and criminal offenses. And I think that is far worse than failure to declare a few properties in the Sal N. <laughs> you know, we've lost our sense of directions and values. But from 0916-736-1553, Ed of Pasay City, good evening, sirs. I find your discussion very interesting. Napakahirap po talagang baguhin ang nakasanayan na natin pagdating sa eleksyon. Lahat ganansya. Ito lang po kasi ang panahon kung kailan bida ang mga butante. After elections, wala na naman tayong halaga sa kanila. Abay, kayo na po ang nagsabi at totoo po yan. Uh, Pero, ang tungkulin natin na pangalagaan ng paraan ng ating paghahalal sa ating mga opisyal ay napakahalaga. Hindi natin dapat yan pabayaan, pababayaan o ipagbibili, pagbubulag-bulagan tayo. Ibig sabihin nun, huwag po sana kayong magagalit. Wala kayong pagmamahal sa inyong sarili at sa bayan. Pero meron yeah. tayong proseso eh. As sabi oh. nga ni Congressman Delira, ni Glenn. Chong. Oh. na kailangan sampahan ng, sampahan ng kaso. And, and that's what the Philippine Computer Society did. We, we filed a case with the Ombudsman of a grave discretion, a grave abuse, abuse of discretion, discretion. and a charge, a liable for criminal and uh, administrative charges with the Ombudsman. Kailan June, pinahil yun? June 29, 2010. Means, Hanggang ngayon, walang wala action ang, ang Ombudsman. Yes, yes. So but, calling but, the Ombudsman, right. bakit nyo inuupuan yung kaso na pinahil? Mm kontra sa mga COMELEC officials na, na kriminal at saka civil. Not only the case of the Philippine Government Society, but also there's a case filed by Homo Bono Adasa et al. with the Supreme Court pertaining to the constitutionality. Oh, ilang of petition yun nasa Supreme oh, Court. And then another one, the Ombudsman also. Oh. So, this are, and then there's another separate case by uh, uh, Angelito Sarmiento, the former oh. congressman and mayor of Bulacan, that filed a direct charge against uh, 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 Smartmatic for disenfranchising voters because ngayon doon siya nakita na ang, ang machine ang nag, ano, nag po prohibit ng voter to vote. Bigas sa kanyang baloto daw, ni-reject five times ng machine. So, sa tagal doon ng buhay niya na naghahalal, ngayon doon siya na na-reject yung boto niya by a machine, not by a by not a BI. Not by register. No. Ray, uh, if, if it's all right, I'd like to address the, yung nag-text sa atin ngayon na, hindi naman siguro that we wala tayong pag-asa about changing the future of this country because when nung una akong tumakbo, my battle cry was something like, it's in our hand that changed our destiny. I mean, it is in our hand the right to chart our own destiny. Ewan ko how you will say that in Tagalog because okay. I am a Nasa Misaya. sa ating kamay, ang ating kinabukasan, okay. ang ating destiny. No? If you choose rightly, you will reap the benefits of good governance. Choose wrongly and you will suffer for the rest of your life. Or oh, at least until it's turned. Yun, yun, oh, yun yung battle cry ko sa taong bayan. 
and uh, believe me or not, nung kinausap ko yung taong bayan, I gave them a promise in black and white. Nandun yung fully costed, fully funded program ko with my signature and my picture. Walang politiko siguro magpa-promise in black and white, sir. Oh. Oh, and then, ang the biggest uh, that I promised them was the school bus system. We had a fleet of 14 air-conditioned school buses. Kinukuha namin yung mga bata from all barangays in Biliran. 7,000 of them, 7,000. Araw-araw, Mondays to Fridays, uh, sa umaga kinukuha namin sa bahay, hinahatid sa gabi. Mondays to Fridays, and it costed us only less than 1 peso. Oh. Isang less than bawat 1 peso, estudyante. bawat estudyante to pick them up and send them back. Oh. Because we were able to achieve economies of scale. And that's the reason siguro bakit the people of Biliran had paid for my protest isang million. Sila, pera nila, ang binayad sa protesta ko. Uh, uh, si Sister Linda Lanigaw is in charge. Meron siyang listahan ng lahat ng taong nagbigay down to the last 5 pesos. Uh-oh. Meron mga pangalan, meron mga addresses, so anyone who wants to verify it, they can go there and verify it. Alam mo, pwedeng dapat gawin dyan, you tell, uh, urge them, give them the text number of the, Sen- uh, the uh, Electoral Tribunal, let all of them send the text. O nga, sir, but what I would like to address to the public is this. Uh-oh. Hindi lang concern namin yan sa biliran. It's our concern, the entire country, tayong lahat. If if meron tayong if there's such, uh, if there's a evidence na baka nangyari ito sa amin because I would like to limit my discussion only to my case kasi doon lang yung ebidensya ko but as for the rest if they want to conclude that's up to them hindi this is a free country pero tayong taong bayan we are in charge I mean meron tayong dapat meron tayong pagtingin sa sarili natin buong bayan alam mo sinasabi mo niya ganyan na uh, kong uh, Glenn tama yan kasi ang sinasabi ko dito Ang, kat- mang, ang matuwid na daan ng, parang, ng bansa, kailangan magumpisa sa atin eh. Sa sarili. Sa ating isa. sariling bakuran, mm-hmm. doon tayo gumawa ng matuwid. Ganyan ang sinasabi ko, yung, yung, yung crime mo, okay, you are confining yourself to Biliran because yun lang ang talaga. Yun lang kasi ang evidence but ko, sir. Eh. Hindi pwedeng babayaan mo na yung rest of the country. Kayo yung mga nakanunood dyan sa iba ibang lugar, kung meron kayong nalalaman, dapat sinasabi ninyo. At dapat yan nilalabas nyo. From 0939-411-2355, Tess of Quezon City. I am not in favor of buying the PICOS machines until all the issues raised during the 2010 elections were resolved. Kung hindi ito ma-resolved, pwede naman tayong bumalik sa manual counting. A eh, sabi point. lang dyan ni, ni, ni Brillantes, magre-resign daw siya. At ang pangalawa dito na kailangan natin tingnan, it is not enough for the COMELEC to say we have fixed the problems. Yes. No. We need to know and independently verify. And certify. Through, uh, and certify through certify. IT experts yes. that in fact the system has been corrected. Yes, yes. Tama ka, ka, tama ka And I would like to add yung sinabi ni Tess na babalik na lang tayo sa manual counting. I have a very good experience with that eh. Uh, alam ko yung kalaban ko has been there. My dad was ambushed one year after I assumed office. Dalawa sa security officer ko namatay. And uh, ang umambo sa dad ko were CIDG officers. Uh-oh. Uh, pat- and they're facing double murder, frustrated murder, and attempted murder. I risk my life for my people because I believe them and they believe me. Kaso nga lang, in an automated election, hindi mo nakikita kung paano kinount yung balota. Whereas in a manual counting, nababantayan mo. Oo, oh, nandun yung That's, teacher. Oh. Isang boto rito, nakasulat na. <laughs> oh, nga. Mm-hmm. Pero it doesn't mean that we have to go to the manual counting all over again because it's really archaic. What, what, we, what we want to do is create a system that is that will really assure the country na yung pinili nila is really the one who's getting who will be proclaimed and, 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 there are, and who will serve yeah, them right right and uh. there are other uh, alternative technologies that can support that Uh-oh. yung nangyari do sa armed elections of August 2008 dalawang modelo yun eh one is the DRE yung touch screen na ginawa ng Smartmatic sa Maguindanao and 30% lang ang successfully transmitted the 70% tinakbo by Snickernet and then the other four provinces of arm, ginamit nila uh, o, o, optical mark reader, per counting center, hindi picos. Meaning, dinara ng mga BI ang balota doon sa isang kapitol at doon binilang sabay-sabay para assembly line. Now, in that, transparent yun. Yes, and I everybody think so. saw it. And then, ang, ang konti lang yung mga makin ang gagamitin mo at yung nag-transmit, 80%, 90% success rate. So, wala kang problema. problema. So, hindi pwedeng... Picos lang ang solusyon. Marami pang teknolohiya na pwede pang gamitin. Pwede gamitin. From 0915-520-6161, Amelia of Tondo, magaling ang mga resource speakers mo, Sir Ray, especially Congressman Chong. Sayang at nadaya sila last election, ha? 
Uh, it's not a question of crying over spilled milk. Yes. Ang mahalaga dito, hindi mo lang iniisip yung iyong sariling kapakanan. But you also have a mind towards a system that serves the people's interests well. And thank God that there are people like Congressman Chong here who have taken the cudgels at great risk. At marami kang masasagasaan pag pinagpatuloy mo itong protesta mo. Marami Ay, kang uh, maano di, ano dito. Kanya lang, nalulungkot lang ako, nag-iisa ka eh. Uh, Meron pa bang ilan? May iba mga uh, <laughs> oh, civil uh, political parties. Eh, hindi naman siguro na nag-iisa ako because I owe the people of Bilira the no, one hindi million defeat for except me. Except in terms of the people of Bilira. <laughs> but iba, y- 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 another, uh, another, another uh, okay, okay. elected official or some other who run, run for office. Actually, as okay. In yesterday's committee hearing, na doon si for Governor Pinyol of Cotabato. Manny Pinyol. Uh, si uh, Manny Pinyol. Uh, oh. Manny, and then binahagi niya doon sa committee ang nangyari sa kanila at uh, pinatunayan nung kanyang kasamang uh, IT resource per, uh, person from uh, Cotabato, who's also Muslim. And then, lumabas ka sa resulta, may resulta na galing sa Colombia. <laughs> Republika ni Colombia. Kaya yun na nga, nag, isa ng mga uh, ba- basehan na uh, ito bang binili natin eh, segunda si mano o ito talagang uh, first hand. In other words, sa memory ng Picos Basis, oh, meron pang... Lumabas yun, yung Colombian. So, parang din, second hand na pala yun. In other yun. words, misrepresentation, gross misrepresentation ang Smartmatic sa Philippine government. And how come they're not? Toti, if I may add, di ba, may, I presented also to the Philippine Computer Society, yung sinabi yes. ko, the PICOS actually has two counters. One counts the ballots physically as pinasok sila. Oh, yeah. And the other one segregates the votes. Yung counter ng ballot is called protective counter. Hmm. So kung yung makina is really new, bago talaga, dapat yung protective counter zero. Oh. Eh, hindi yun eh. In my case, meron siyang laman. Uh, Ay, the, minimum is, the minimum is, the minimum is, Ten. Uh, ten. Ten is the ceiling. Ay, hindi. The ceiling minimum is, is 19. Uh, Na, minim- oh, on, the, uh, on the majority, 19. Uh, but, Pero sa presinto ko, 138. 138. 138, meron 101, may 70. Gamit na yung mga makina. Hindi, meron na naka-prefed. No, naka, in other words, pre-fed. preloaded na yung... May pumasok doon na balota. May Mag- pumasok doon na balota or something. Nakaload na. That's okay. what we... Maybe pra- that's why they were able to promise a 10% automatic flip for any candidate. What? Can, then all, then, then, all these documents I submitted to the Senate Oversight Committee for them to know. And yeah, for everyone minsan, to know. Kaya nalulungkot nga ako na sinabi ni Senate President Edile na happy na siya sa decision ng Comelec. Mm. And may, I, I'm not saying he's, he's not well-intentioned, mm. but maybe he thinks this is the most practical thing because yeah, he I, can, I think the consequences of turning it back uh, is something he does not want to oh, contemplate. Ako, I also but, believe that the chairman has good intentions. Oh, yeah. But... Uh, Probably because he is pressed for time. Eh, ang, ang problema well, ko kasi dito that's eh. That's always been the problem and the budget. Country. Ang problema ko kasi dito, maraming tinitribilize ang IT as something small. Hindi oh, nila, no. nila inintindi na maraming bagay the, the na... The system is based on IT. Exactly. You and then you, you, can, you can use those evidences as being shared mm-hmm. nga here. As already clear-cut evidence na ito is already a tell-tearing story. Na bakit nangyari itong mga manifestation? At, at idaan ito sa... Tama at wastong pagsasaliksik, tama at wastong pag-imbestigasyon. At para malaman, ano ba ang ugat nito? Ngayon, pinagbabawalan nilang i-report, tingnan natin. tingnan natin. For what reason or another, hindi natin maintindihan. Pero pag dumadaan kayo sa impeachment cases, yung sa salin, iniisa sila, hinihimahira. Sana ganoon din ang gawin nila dito. Oh. Sa Comelec. Sa Comelec. Parehas din ginagawa sa impeachment uh, proceeding. Ganoon din ang gawin nila. There cannot be two standards. Dapat isa lang yung standard. Uh, Bakit sila gano'n kabusisi doon sa impisyon? Yeah, Hindi lang magawaran na ganito. Ang sasabihin ko ay ganito. There are two standards. Unfortunately, they are prevailing now. Now, whether people will believe in one standard for everybody, or whether, to san, ang sagot ko na lang doon, ano kayo, sineswerte? <laughs> From 0916-736-1553, Edom Pasay, okay lang na mag-resign si Brillantes. Dapat mag, na nga mag-resign silang mga taga-comilek at ang lahat ng mga may papel sa eleksyon. Kasi parang nagiging malaking sindikato sila na nagmamanipulate ng eleksyon. Eh alam na natin yan, matagal na matagal na. The question there, Ray, is hayaan ba natin? Yan ang relevant question. Nang tao ba yan? Pababayaan ba natin silang gawin ito sa atin? Hang, for Ed, hanggang doon lang ba tayo sa text? Ngayon, ang problema dito, if there is any kind of collusion between the Comelec and certain powers. Mm. And that can well be in government or out of government. In country yes. or out of country. In country. Eh, kay, kay, nakikita mo, sinasabi mo, kasama sa tabulation, galing sa Colombia. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which, which raised one question with me, uh, Toti. Can people outside the country 
enter in yes. and transmit okay. and know. penetrate the system. Yes, the system. it can be possible. Really so like in it. other words, it's manipulable even by forces outside the country. I talked to an expert yes. kahapon during the committee uh -oh. hearing. I just didn't bring it up before the body. Pero ang sabi niya, what you are telling me, ako, kung anong sinasabi ko sa kanya in the committee and there, sabi niya, that is theoretically possible. Pwedeng okay. mangyari talaga yon mm. Because what they found out is that walang security talaga yeah. yung uh, automated election system ng all smart the money. Walang mga firewalls. No, all the well, compensating measures ano. that is required by law to, oh. in, to ensure the security and credibility have were been compromised. Yes, were, were, like the UV sensor. Oh, oh. They, dis, dis, they disabled it and then they got the UV lamp. Ginamit ba ng mga BI yun? So we don't know whether those that have been entered into that machines were really real ballots okay, printed by the MPO or a fake ballot. Baka ninegosyo lang yun. Hindi na nabalik siguro. Well, we, can never, we can never tell. And then there's also that system date na report nga ni Mayor Atsensa uh -oh. na nagde-date as earlier April 28. At sinasabi ng Smartmatic, nagkamali lang natin. That's not possible because paglabas mo sa, sa planta yun, naka-set na siya on the very act date that the Dapat. machines were released. At the very least, what you have to say, it was poorly manufactured. That's the least that you can say. That's the least that you can say. Hindi naman na quality assurance. Oo. Eh, be, kung gano'n naman na unreliable yung makina nila, ba't natin kukulit? There is still accountability issue as far as that's concerned. No matter how they excuse that, that is to be subject for review and investigation. And then find out if there's any culpability on the provider. Sabi ko, tatataka ko dito, you know, for all of this, one of the most sophisticated IT groups should be in the Commission on Election. Do you have one in the they person of Commissioner Gantagman? Like like no, he, who basically but he, signed he, off on it. He, he words, always he outvoted. Always he dissented on the... He dissented yes, on the decision oh. to purchase. Oh, but right. he's the only one, I think. No, two. Ah, the other one is the Chris, uh, ah, si Commissioner Robert, Christian Lim. Uh, Christian Lim. Right. The two of them dissented on. Right, did they right. publish their reasons for dissenting? There's, I they, they think were, so. We have copies of that, and we can probably give it to those who would want a copy of those. And I wish somebody would look at it. You know, but these speaking people of were dates not so times, Speaking of dates and times, Ray, we, have did, we did observe, and I presented it also in the committee, lahat ng picos ko, oh. um, ang nangyari, lumabas na lahat, uh, lahat ng servers dun sa munisipyo, natanggap nila yung transmission from 2 minutes to 131 minutes ahead bago pa nagpadala yung picos. Ah, in other words, meron ng results yung server, wala pa yung... Hindi pa nagpadala yung picos. Hindi pa nagpapadala yung mga picos. Yes. All. All. One, uh, uh, meron kaming 53. Uh, 53 precincts na ganun ang data. Natanggap ng server from 2 minutes to 131 minutes before nagpadala yung picos. Ibig sabihin, may resulta na doon sa munisipyo, hindi pa nagpadala yung sa picos. Ay, paano mo naman pagkakatiwala ng ganyang klase? That's system, precisely ha? the point. Ay, from 0915-1141362, from Janet of Pasig City. Galing po mga guest nyo, especially Congressman Glenn Chong. <laughs> Alam po ninyo, hindi na kailangan ni Glenn ang papuri. Napakahalagang issue po nito. It's for us all. Hindi lang sa para lahat. kay Congressman Glenn Chong hmm. in his protest. No, this involves the heart of our democratic system. Yes. Without honest and fair elections, we have nothing. Maging sunod-sunuran na lang tayo. Maging sunod-sunuran lang tayo at maging alipin kung sino man ang pwedeng ilagay dyan. Pero hindi titigil. Instead, dapat nasa kamay natin ang, ang the power to choose. Because ang, ang thinking ko kasi, if yung politiko is really duly elected by the people, may certain degree of takot siya doon sa taong bayan, di po ba? Because supposedly, if you are in public service, the people is your master and you are the servant. And I wish to leave that, that principle. Well, the, the, the question that is coming up is, okay, in the end, it's either the administration supports electoral reforms or they do not. Now, try to think of it from their standpoint. Mula sa kanilang kinalalagyan. But kung kikristyonin ito, nanalo ako dito. And that is the same with all of the other elected officials. Ngayon, ang sabi ko ganito, Kung napakasigurado kang nanalo ka, talagang naniniwala kang tinangkili ka ng tao, bakit mo katatakutan ng examination ng proseso? Ngayon yes, kung lumabas dito question. na hindi ka nanalo, bakit mo naman tatanggapin yung pananok kung hindi naman pala tama? Hmm. You have everything to Mas fear. Mas mahal mo ba ang kapangyarihan kaysa sa katuwiran? These are, these are real issues of integrity. 
Are you wanting your position because gusto mo ng kapangyarihan o anumang biyayan dadating sa kapangyarihan? O talagang gusto mong maglingkod sa bayan? Kanya ang tanong dito, 0917607-6481 from Ruel of Quezon City to Conglen. Tatakbo ka ba ulit? Paano pag nanalo ka sa protesta mo? <laughs> Ay tapos na siguro yung term bago ka manalo. Actually, uh, to be honest, uh, Ray, patapos na rin kami at this stage. Oo. Patapos na kami. And if the so, honorable members... So baka katulad members... ka isang kilala ko na uh, nag, nag sumumpa, nag-join ng kongreso on the last day. I, I still have faith, uh, Ray. Uh, Ruel, I still have faith in my former colleagues in the House of Representatives that they will decide what is right. Patapos na rin kami yung process namin eh. Tapos na oh. yung sa kaso ko. Uh, give and take, we will be submitting it for decision na. Siguro ang gagawin na dito, pababayaan kang manalo. Alam mo kung bakit? Kailangan merong magpakita tayo na merong nanalo. Hindi naman pwede. Kasi wala na magprotesta. <laughs> Oo, parang wala na magprotesta. <laughs> Hindi diba? naman siguro. Baka naman ganun na mangyari dyan. Sa tanong niya, kung tatakbo pa ako, the way I look at it kasi is, if... Uh, it all depends sa turn ng protesta. Because I, I, I'm only human. I can, I can fail. Oh. I mean, hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na I'm, I'm, I'm Superman. Ah. Kahit I'm yeah, down yeah, emotionally, yeah. pwede pa rin akong... Ano, I, it will all depend on the people also na who had really supported me. And I would like to thank the people of Biliran. Especially yung mga madre dito, the Association of Major Religious Superiors of the Philippines. Mm. Meron nga isang politiko, sabi sa akin, eh, bakit mga madre yung... Yung mga supporter mo, wala namang, wala namang power yan. <laughs> wala namang power yung mga madre. But I'm thankful of them uh, sa kanila because they have been there. Now, and, any uh, show of civic-mindedness on anybody's part, religious or not, is good. From 0908-316-1442, Aida of Las Piñas, unless we can stop the Pinoy bandwagon, the election will not be successful. Dapat si Mr. Casino ay makapag-audit ng software. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what they've been trying to do, pero ayaw silang pagbigyan. No, they did, pero they're saying that uh, only condition. within their premises. Mara, what kind of, what kind of uh, independent audit is na control? Babantay yung kanila. Right, 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 right. Yan. So, ito ang ating pong nakikita. Although sometimes, sa akin, the place where you investigate that so long as you have control of the area, mm. uh, at hindi under the control of the Comilec, even if it's in the Comilec premises, that's fine. Yeah. Basta huwag lang silang nakatingin sa likuran mo no. and then will bother you about what you're gonna look at and, and, and you, are being give, you should be given freedom of yeah. action. And actually, we have, the, we have the choice of what, what to investigate, to audit. Hindi lang yung silang bibigay sa ang gusto nila. Okay, well, even the question here, if you want to look at those machines, boy, good luck trying to get them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone anyway. So, yan ang ating nakikita na. Wow. Well, alam po ninyo, kumisan, ito sa mga isyong ganito, dito ako talaga nalulungkot. Sa akin kasi nakakabasag ng puso natin yan. Sapagat ko ang taon magiging sobrang sinikot, nalalaman nila, wala palang, wala palang bisa ang kanilang boto. Sapagat namamanipulate masyado ang sistema, hindi mag maganda. Ayan dyan na yung mga kababayan natin na pinagbibilin kanilang boto for out of, out of other considerations, hindi lang po sa pera. Kaawa-awa talaga itong ating abang bansa. Pero sa gabi pong ito, nabuso na tayo ng panahon. Nawa po sana nasihan kayo sa ating mga napapag-usapan dito sa gabing ito at marahil mabibigyan kayo ng mga bagay na maaari nyo pag-isipan sa gabing ito at nawa maging bataya ng inyong gustong gawin para matiyak o sa darating na halalan sa 2013, gagawin nyo ang magagawa ninyo para ito ay maging matino at maayos. At pagbobotong may integridad sapagkat mabibilang ng usto ang tunay na mga boto na siyang ginawa ng taong bayan, hindi yung guni-guni na nagmumula sa ibang tao para lang sila ay makakamkam ng kapangyarihan at kayamanan. Salamat po sa inyong pagtangkilik sa gabing ito. Uh, Kong Glenn and Toti, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you and we'll see you next week. Buli ka ng aso. Kalabot. Hindi ni rinilis naman ng pork barrel. Mga patay, papabigyan ko ng 5,000. Para ma-dismiss, mga hostage na lang para ma-reintake.